One more, thank God. Just one more. <laughs> this is the... Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tammy, welcome. And for my returning viewers and subscribers, hi y'all, welcome back. All right, so today's video is going to be on it's Maybelline New York New Universal Lipstick Shade. It complements all complexions obsessively tested on 50 diverse skin tones. It says satisfaction guaranteed. We shall find out about that. So it's made for all lipstick by Maybelline Satin and Matte Lipsticks in purple, pink, and red universal shades that complement every skin tone. So there are seven shades and I have them all right in front of me here. I'm going to be um, trying them on to see if they actually do complement my skin tone, all seven of them. I have a feeling it's not all going to complement me because there are some shades that look weird on my skin. The packaging will tell you if it's um, satin or if it's matte. So in comparison to this and just I think one other packaging for the lip color, one of them only I feel is matte and the rest are all satin. Then this is red for me, 382. It also says matte underneath. So this is the only matte in the seven color sensational shades. Starting with spice for me. Okay, here we go. I have nothing on my lips right now. So that way we can all see what it's like. And I like that it has this slant on it in order to be able to apply it. So here we go. This isn't bad. I kind of give myself sort of a lip liner without even using a lip liner. It feels really nice and soft um, and, and, and creamy. So it's like a satin cream type of feel and wearable. This will um, transfer so you might have to reapply in order to keep the color all day. Mauve for me. This will look better with lip liner, I think. Now we're going for pink for me. This is too sheer. You have to like go over it a couple of times to get the color. Not bad shade. I could do this, but I would need a lip liner for sure. Mm, just to kind of Balance it out. Fuchsia for me. Ruby for me. 385 Ruby for me. Okay, good. It glides right on too. This is this this is probably my favorite. The next one is the matte one, which is red for me, and it's 382. Oh. This is really nice. This is red for me. Very similar to uh, ruby for me. It feels so nice on. Even the matteness is not matte hard. It's like like a soft matte. I like that. One more, thank God. Just one more. <laughs> this is the plum for me in 388. This feels, this looks good too. That's the last one. My verdict is yes, they were right. This does complement my skin tone. Every single one of them I liked. This I would put liners with. 
and this I'll probably wear by themselves without any liner. My favorite one is the Red For Me and I really like it. I'm wearing it without any, um, without a liner. They look really nice. Like I said, they're supposed to complement all skin tones. Satisfaction guaranteed. This is on their website. All seven of them work for my skin tone and I really like that. I'm so glad that they do. I love them and I'm definitely gonna be switching them up. But I love red for like outings and filming or whatnot. Uh, I like the pink or the mauve shades for everyday look. Okay, so I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please consider subscribing if you have not subscribed. If, and if you've already subscribed, thank you so much for watching to the end. And like this video. Also share with your families and friends. And comment down below if you think these shades do complement my skin tone. If you also think you're going to be trying any of this out or would like to try one or two of these, um, let me know in the, in the comment below if you'll be getting any of them and which one will you be getting. You know, it'd be nice to see what we're all rocking together. All right, so don't forget to be thankful and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye. Uh